Hey y'all, it's TX Stamp and Sharon. Welcome to my Thursday Night Live. It is 7 p.m. Central on January the 18th. We're over halfway through January. Oh my gosh, can't believe it. I'm going to be sharing some really fun, easy Valentine cards tonight. Um, since I am live, I do want to say hello to those who've joined me live, especially my friend Michelle Batson. Um, Michelle is my moderator during my Thursday night lives. So if you have any questions, I'm not paying attention to the chat and you're like, she won't answer me. All you have to do is do the at sign and start typing Michelle Batson's name and she's more than happy to help you. So glad to see you on here, Michelle. I am doing fine. I'm glad you are. Um, today was a little bit warmer than what it has been here in Central Texas, but tomorrow, eh, we're back down again, so I'm doing well. For those of you who are watching the replay, I sure do appreciate you taking the time uh, out of your day to watch it. I hope that I teach you something. I hope that I inspire you as um, I share this product with y'all tonight. Um, I am going to go ahead and flip my camera so that you can see what I am seeing on my stamp table. Um, um, so yeah, I do, I do want to say hello to those who are, who are in the chat itself. I see Brenda Greenleaf. Hi, Katie Gordon. Uh, the K strum is talking about the snow and the cold, you know, we like to hop on before we go live and kind of check, catch up with each other, see how everybody's doing. I pretty much decided everybody's freezing in the United States. So yeah, that sums it up. Everybody's cold. Um, so yeah, and then Delena is on here and Robin. Um, so it's always good to see my stamping friends from all over the world on here. Um, so yeah, you know, when you are joining us live, make sure you invite your crafty friends. Maybe they want to know how to use this uh, product that I'm using tonight. So I'm actually using the stamp set called Adoring Hearts. This is in the new mini catalog that looks like this that started on January the 4th. Um, I, I made one card and I thought how cute it was. And then I realized, hey, I could do the reverse and have the opposite effect. And I loved it. I thought it was so much fun. You know, red and white always go so well for Valentine's. Um, but I also have some other colors that we're going to play with, and I hope that you like those as, as much as I do. Um, there are some things that I don't know if you can see on camera. I'm going to kind of look and see on my other screen. It has embossed. I have this layer is embossed. And we're going to talk about all of the embossing uh, fun part of this product. This is called the Adorning Hearts bundle and the embossing folder let me see it has an embossing folder and then it also has die cuts and I thought it was super fun to go ahead and just cut out the dies so I wanted y'all to see there are some individual hearts like here that are very decorative then there's just two plain solid hearts there is a banner there are four small little hearts. And then there's this cute little thing right here, this triplet of hearts. And those are the hearts that come out of that. And then we've got some plants, okay? Now this part right here, this is where I hope you can see the embossed areas in between. And then each of my uh, hearts is embossed. So that is what comes with... Um, the embossing folder. So let me get that out. So here's the embossing folder. And as you can see, I've been playing. I don't know if you can see the purple ink and the red ink. So I've been playing with that. Um, then it also has, here's the die. So you can kind of see them um, up close. Now, if you notice, this is kind of big. Where is my piece? So this right here is I think I cut this six inches by um, six inch or six inches by five inches. So you can see how big that die is. And you're like, well, Sharon, our cards aren't that big. 
No. However, in other parts of the world, they do make bigger cards. Some people like to make six by six cards. So we're going to talk about how to use this die if you don't um, if you don't want to use it as a six by six. So um, is your internet freezing, Christine, or is mine? Is anybody else having issues? I was seeing some freezing earlier and I thought, um, you know, I y'all would let me know if there was a problem. So Renee just asked a question. Is it a hybrid uh, embossing folder? Yes, it is. So when you open up the embossing folder, you will see the Stampin' Up! logo. On this side right here, you can take the dies, place them right here. Whoops, cut it like that. Then you can put a piece of paper. And so I wanted to point out that if we're doing just a regular four inch, no freezing from my end. Thanks, Margaret. I appreciate that. So four inches by five and a quarter, you can decide to put it on this side or this side. Okay. And then when you close it up, you can see that I'm only going to get this much of the die cutting with the hearts and the uh, embossed layer. So I think you can even see the embossing here. Um, Mary Moat says, does the Enduring Beauty dies cut out the masks? The Enduring Beauty dies. Um, if, if, mm, Enduring, no, they don't have, a, are you saying like this? Oh, oh, no, no, I know what you're talking about, the, the masks. No, um, Mary, I did a video on that January 4th. Yes, January 4th. You can go back to that video and look and see how to use those masks. Great question. Renee says, I got mine the other day and just put in a larger piece to do it all, and I have extra hearts. Yes, Renee, always beating me to the punch, girlfriend. Always beating me to the punch. Um, so this is if you just want um, the six hearts for your card front, like my red and white ones. Okay. Now, like Renee said, what if, I mean, you're going to be cranking it through the machine anyway. Why not go ahead and get a bigger piece of paper? Oh, I don't know, like six by six. Um, <laughs> no, Renee, you're doing fine. Don't you dare say you're sorry. Absolutely not. You help me keep on track too. So, um, so what if you wanted to put a six by six piece of paper in there? You could do that and then have extra hearts like what Renee is talking about. You know, I did several of these. You're going to find when you, when you get this suite, this bundle, that you're kind of addicted and the love of having all the extra hearts is super fun because, you know, you can just pop the hearts on another card and it doesn't even have to look anything like this one. Okay. So as I was getting ready for tonight, I was like, okay, um, what about some specialty papers? You know, Stampin' Up! sells specialty papers. And so I want to show you this is the Soft Shimmer Specialty Paper. And it is super thin paper. I decided to run them both through at the same time. So that was something fun. I ran the paper through at the same time. I want to grab something off the printer. Do y'all care if I step over there? Because I forgot to get it before I started. So I do have a handout just for you to remember the cards that I'm sharing tonight. Um, this will be available at 8 p.m. Central. Um, but I wanted to show you, hold on, let me go to the next page. So here's where I'm showing you how to place the dies on the logo side of the Stampin' Up! logo side. Put your paper in. You can kind of close it up over it or just put the paper down on front. And then you're just going to cut them out. Okay. Um, I wanted you to see kind of up close what the different designs are. And I sure hope y'all can see that on camera. 
Um, but I ran both of them through at the same time. Okay. Um, okay. So Mary um, and Inika, you're right. You can use the dies to cut out the masked image after you have uh, created your masked version of your uh, endearing beauty. So yes, you can. Okay. So let's get back to our card making. All right. Um, so this, these two pages do talk about other supplies. I'm not going to necessarily go over the brayer other than to tell you that you can brayer if you're going to use it right here. The instructions tell you to brayer your ink here, then you're going to lay the dye on top. Okay. You do have to brayer first. Um, I'm, I'm trying to come up with other ways to use the brayer before I share a whole lot about it. Okay. Um, it is a silicone brayer. If you've had a red rubber brayer in the past, this is not the same. Just saying, just saying. Okay. So let me move this out of the way. Um, so the mini catalog is happening now and it goes through April. Um, also happening now, um, during January and February, you can pick out um, a free goodie for every $50 that you order or that you spend from either the mini or my annual catalog or the clearance rack, anything. Um, also, if you do that, you get the Enduring Beauty um, class tutorial that I had um, January 4th. Um, Renee Paris is saying to use the brayer to apply glue. Yes. I, I have a whole list of things. I'm hoping to share that list with y'all soon. Um, one thing, I don't know if you can see on camera, but there are metal feet. When after you're done using it, you would put the metal feet down so that your glue, your ink, whatever doesn't get on the table. So yeah, I've got all kinds of tips coming. Um, and as far as the glue goes, um, you could also, you know, if you put liquid glue on your layer um, and instead of rubbing it with your hands you could like okay hold on let me back up so we put glue here we lay our paper down we could do this to make sure that that glue is is nice and pressed so kind of burnishing that layer of cardstock so there you go um okay so let's put this aside now i i told you i showed you about the shimmery soft shimmery i kind of went a little crazy and i pulled out the rose gold foil look at that isn't that gorgeous it's so pretty so i don't know if you can see on camera but there's actually three shades of rose gold I don't know if you can tell, they all kind of, uh, two of these look the same, but there's three different shades. And so look how pretty that is. Um, Delina, does the brayer come apart for easy cleaning? I will tell you that. You can take it apart, wash it. I just leave it on here and wash it. I just run it underneath the sink, but yes. It does come apart for easy cleaning. So there you go. Um, D, isn't it gorgeous? Katie, it's just stunning, isn't it? So my question for y'all, while I'm pulling out some other things, what color ink do I use with the rose gold when we want to stamp our happy Valentine? I think these are going to make gorgeous Valentine cards. Um, I did not cut them out. I just used, let's go back to our folder here. You know, I showed you that if I do this, I can emboss and cut at the same time because this is a hybrid folder. But what if this bundle would make beautiful wedding invitations? You're right. If I just put my foil in there and run it through, I've got the gorgeous embossed folders or layers. Okay. All right. So we're going to make a card with this 
that we've already done. Um, I do have some other options. Let's see, let me put this over here. I do have some other options of colors if you all want me to show y'all that. Um, light pink. I don't know if light pink, I don't know. I, I kind of have a memento here. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm stumped on this one because normally if I'm going to use this gorgeous foil, I'm going to use embossing powder. Well, I could do embossing powder, but what am I going to emboss on? <laughs> do I put another layer? I've just been a little stumped on this one. So they, oh my goodness, I'm so glad that you are doing better. I'm so sorry you've been sick. That dang COVID stuff just won't go away, will it? Cherry cobbler. Now that's a thought. That's a thought. All right. So the hard part is deciding, do you want to use these six or these six? So you just have to make a decision. I'm going to line this up at the four inch mark. Can y'all see me? And I'm going to cut. Oh, that's so hard to do. <laughs> I'm going to trim off a little bit from the top. And then I'm going to turn it around. I want four and a quarter or four and a quarter, five and a quarter. But right now I would be cutting off my heart. So I'm going to kind of ooch it up some. But yes, that's a technical term. Ooch it up. We're going to flip it around. And now we're going to go to five and a quarter. And there we go. That's how we whittle it down to fit on a card front. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep these, set these aside. Okay, did we say, oh, Blackberry Bliss. I'm seeing some other colors. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I've not used the rose gold. And so I'm like, huh, I don't know. Seeing some pinks in there. Okay, Knight of Navy, Blackberry Bliss, and Cherry Cobbler. And maybe black. So see, I had black. Okay, I went and pulled all the ones that y'all said, and I think what I'm going to do first is, Renee says she would use black stays on, stays on or memento it would be the same for the most part. Hold on, let's get our, yeah, it's, um, it's kind of a mystery, which one would look better. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking the black. Okay. Let's do this. Let's just do some stamping. Then I'm going to show you some other tips. If you have any questions about this suite or this bundle, please ask me. There's some glue on there. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Ooh, copper clay. Okay. Who said that? T. Ann. I think you might be onto something. Okay, so the Blackberry Bliss just looks black. That's not bad. Okay. Copper clay. Hmm. So this Adoring Hearts bundle would be a fabulous bundle for your Valentine cards, or just to tell someone you love them. I am cleaning my stamp off camera in case you guys want to know what is she doing? What is she doing? Um, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking wedding, wedding cards for sure. All right. So this is Night of Navy. 
Do you think you would receive an order in time? Is asking Kathy. Yes, I do. If you place your order today, you'll receive it. Okay, so that is, we're going to cut these up and see. Okay, you guys get to choose how this card ends up. This is Cherry Cobbler. I don't know. I, hmm, I don't know. Anniversary cards. Very good. Yes. You know, just to tell somebody you love them. Just to tell, you know, your kids, your grandkids. Okay. So I'm still not convinced that we have the right color yet. I wish we had rose gold embossing powder. Oh, Renee's thought I was stamping actually on the paper. So I can't stamp on it because there's embossing. The, the hearts are embossed in between. Good. Okay, Renee, I understand why you said stays on. Okay, who said copper clay? Let's try that. I even thought of pebbled path, but I, mm, I don't think so. Okay, let's do this. We're just going to cut these apart. So when you are trying to decide what colors to use, what ink colors to use at uh, when you're making your cards, this is just a way to do it. You know, because sometimes, not just the rose gold paper, you're like, I don't know if this is going to look good with black. I don't know if it's going to look good with, um, you know, with cherry cobbler or whatever. So um, who said, Cindy said copper embossing. You know, it certainly wouldn't hurt to do that, would it? It wouldn't hurt to do that. Okay. Here is Cherry Cobbler. Not bad. Here is Night of Navy. I'm honestly thinking, guys, it doesn't matter. Here is Blackberry Bliss. And then finally, black. I don't think it matters. I think with the rose gold foil, anything's going to go. I think any of them would work. What if you stamp on vellum? Stamp what color on vellum? Stamp the black on vellum? I could. Okay. Um, oh yeah, you can use these on other cards. I'm not. I'm not done stamping with y'all. <laughs> okay. Will I try copper clay? Yes, I got the copper clay. Let me clean my stamp. I don't know. I'm feeling copper clay is is going to be a good one. Um. So, I'm going to get a piece that I've already cut. This layer, oh, I don't think I put that on there. The layers for um, To My Valentine are three quarters of an inch by three and three, three and a quarter, okay? And... Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this layer on. How about something like early espresso or mossy meadow? I, I honestly think 
any color you use on this foil is going to work. I don't agree. Black is too harsh from the colors you use. Cherry cobbler is pretty, and so is copper clay. Okay, I think copper clay is going to be the winner. I think that's good. I think copper clay goes very well with the rose gold. Yay! I think we have a winner. Okay, I'm going to rub this out. I am not going to mat that. I think I'm just going to put it on with dimensionals. And I think we did really good trying to decide on colors. Stamp the sentiment on vellum with copper clay. I can do that. I have more pieces, by the way. We can make another card. Um, but I wanted to show you a system that I have come up with. Copper clay looks very good. I think so. I think this is the winner. I just got in the rose gold and I hadn't had a chance to play with it. And right before we went live, of course, I was playing with the embossing part. And then I'm like, oh, hmm. Okay. So Renee suggested using um, the brayer for your liquid glue. I don't know if you can see on camera, but I can see my lines from the liquid glue. I think that that would be a really good time to use that brayer. So, okay, winner, love the copper clay. Let's see if I have some vellum right here. I think I do. Yes, I do. Okay, let's do it one more time. Now remember, when you're stamping on vellum, that needs to be heat set because it's not going to dry. I'm going to do this instead. I think you could use it on the vellum. It's not as stark as the white. Y'all see that? Would the brayer flatten the embossed image? I don't think so. All right, let's put this card together. Let's try it with the brayer and the ink, uh, ink, adhesive. This one looks a little crooked. That one looks better. So remember, we kind of whittle, I'll put this up here since y'all can't see, just kind of whittle off on each end till we get it to five and a quarter. Oof. Okay. Oops. So we're going to use our silicone mat. Vellum does look really good. Renee, is this how you would do it? Okay. So when you're using the brayer, we want the feet up. Okay. Mm, I'm going to get a piece of paper. No, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do this. Here we go. Clear embossed powder on the vellum since you have to heat set. Oh, yeah, I will. I will be putting clear embossing powder on it. Um, I think the vellum. Okay, so I'm going to do this instead because I'm not liking the coverage. And then I'm just moving that glue around, and it is not flattening out. 
our, um, whoops, let's get a base, our embossed area. And I think that that is probably the biggest selling point for the brayer because I know in the past I have used foil and liquid glue and I get those uh, lines and I don't like it. There is a very popular card on Pinterest to this day that was, I think it was gold foil and I can still see um, that. So look at that. That is perfectly flat. I don't know if y'all can see it on here. I can. I can see where my lines of adhesive are. And that one, this one does not do that. Okay. We are going to grab. Now this is going to have to go get washed underneath the sink when I'm done. Okay. Clear embossing powder. Clear. Oh my goodness, what a mess I've made today. <laughs> this is what happens when you're playing and experimenting. Uh, Grandma Jane says, I think the vellum looks more elegant and matches the card front better. Yes, I think you're right. So we remember I said, for those of you who are new to embossing or vellum or whatever, the vellum is not porous. It cannot absorb the ink. So we need to help it along in the drying process by putting some um, embossing powder on it. I put clear powder on it so it doesn't change the color of my ink. Now I'm going to heat set it. There we go. The brayer should also allow you to cover the back of the vellum so it doesn't show the adhesive. Sorry, there's a heart. There's a heart right where Renee is talking. Hold on. Um, whoops, that's not what I wanted. I want this. Okay, um, doesn't show the adhesive. Oh, you were typing my name. <laughs> so the brayer should also allow you to cover the back of the vellum so it doesn't show. Okay, so. Um, we will try that. We will put it on with that because um, what Renee is saying, good point. Let's see, let me move this out of the way. If I was to put dimensionals behind this, you're going to be able to see it. Okay, whoops. Let's hide that. Okay, um, so we're going to trim this down. And it's about three quarters of an inch. And we're just going to trim this down. Yep, we're good. Okay, so let's bring our brayer back in. You know, it's funny, I wasn't going to do anything about the brayer tonight, and we are talking about the brayer, which is fine. You know, I'm, I'm here to help you all understand how to use the products, when to use the products, things like that. Uh, Rosemary, the last one seemed like the background was shinier. Um, there are three different shades of that rose gold foil in the package. So what you saw is a different. It is shinier. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to do this. And where's our card? We're going to bring our card in. So those of you who don't know, when you're adding vellum, if you're adding it with adhesive, um, in the past, we have used um, a sponge, okay? But this is going to be such a thin layer of adhesive. I'm just going to do this. There we go. We're going to do it a few times. Oh, don't let go of it because it does spin around the wheel. 
Okay, so we're going to do this. And I am not seeing any adhesive. Hold on, let me move this out of the way. I can see what I'm seeing is my hearts. Can y'all see the little hearts underneath? Because they're embossed. That's what I'm seeing. So that's kind of funny. But that works. Sue says, I have a brayer coming, but I've never had one, and I'm totally intimidated. Sue, hang with me. Come back. Um, it won't be next Thursday night because I'm doing um, – information about the Stampin' Up! Uh, glass mat, but I have a list of things that I am talking about with this brayer. I don't want you to be intimidated, but I also want you to understand um, the product itself. All right, let's talk about how we could make some other cards. Um, if you're on my newsletter, stay tuned. I will, I'm going to start telling you guys what is coming up so that like with the brayer, you could have the brayer ready and you could be using it alongside of um, my presentation if you have a question. Michelle, uh, okay, Sharon Crossan asks, has anyone had trouble with their multi-liquid glue? My glue has hardened and will not spread. Um, first of all, um, is it new glue, Sharon? If it's new and you're having trouble, um, I would contact Stampin' Up. Um, if you're saying it's hard to come out of the um, bottle, I would. <clears throat> so I always make sure that I pull that any extra adhesive off. You could try to stick a little tiny needle in there, a little pen. If you're having trouble getting it to come out, I would call Stampin' Up. If you just bought it for sure. Um, I would definitely call them. If you've had it a while, is it in a cold room? Temperature could affect that glue. Um, so I hope that helps you, Sharon. Okay, so first of all, what if we wanted hearts in Heather uh, Highland Heather or a card? And then what about Gorgeous Grape? I thought Gorgeous Grape would make a beautiful card with the hearts and that. I also keep saying, what a beautiful wedding card. So why don't we make a wedding card? Okay. Um, okay, that's right. That is a good thing to do. If you're having trouble with, a lot of people don't know that this end comes off of the glue. You could try having both caps off and squeezing it. Letting some air pass through. Uh, like she said, it's like a lock. Um, that's what they called when I stampin' up and they would not replace them. So have you tried taking off the other end? Like Kay is suggesting as well. Okay. Um, wedding card. So, you know, usually when you get an invitation, you know what the bride's colors are going to be. Um, it's pretty much clear or evident on the invitation. If it's not, why can't you just send a white card? Because I think this is gorgeous. Um, I want to say that I trimmed this down pretty good. I don't know. I'm a little bit, hmm, I'm puzzled. All my other pieces, I'm going to leave it this long. What's going to happen is it's going to be pretty close to five and a half. Okay, so it's just white on white. I think it's very pretty, but we need to probably do some things to give it some oomph, okay? So first thing I want to do is I am going to adhere this layer to my card front with liquid glue. Now I'm using cardstock. I'm not worried about, okay, so I don't know if y'all can tell how fast that came out when I had opened up that other end. Um, it pretty much came, came running out. So I hope that helps you, Sharon. I hope, try that. 
Okay. So when you are adding your hearts, I want to share with you two different ways to do it. So I've got that pretty much lined up. Um, putting the bottle in a mug of warm water. Temperature does affect it. And I know that across the country we are cold in lots of places. I know in our homes we probably are fairly warmer. But, you know, um, if it is cold in your house, that could be um, part of it. I would make sure that the glue is at a good room temperature. Warm water would help. Okay, I'm going to do something because I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing on camera. Um, and this color, uh, the white is pretty hard to see. So I just want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. So who is coming to the Creative 8 Retreat this weekend, huh? Uh-huh. It'll be here before we know it. Who was it? Sue, uh, Christine Wiseman said, happy, happy retreat eve. And I love that. Uh, we kick it off tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Um, yeah, 6 p.m. Eastern. And I kick it off, and I'm super excited. Uh, we have some fabulous projects. If you've already signed up for the retreat, you have already had access to those projects. Um, some people like to be surprised. Some people like to print everything off. I think it was Kay who's got hers ready to go. Um, so however you like to do the retreat, do it your way. All right. So I have my two um, bases here. And... Jamie Watts says, waiting for tomorrow. Kay Strom says it will be her 16th Creative 8 retreat. And guess what? It has been 16 Creative 8 retreats. So look at her. Look at her. Um, most of people, when they come to the retreat, they come back again and again. Like, Kay, there you go. Uh, Connie says, I've printed and they are in time order. Yay! Everybody's got theirs printed. That's so exciting. I'm so glad. If you have not registered and you want to come, I know that Michelle has um, posted some information for y'all in the chat. If you're watching the replay, I do have a link below the video for you to go check out about the retreat and go ahead and register. You can register until we kick it off tomorrow night. And then after that, we're busy, busy. Um, and you don't want to miss a thing. So everything is held on YouTube. That way you don't miss a thing either. All right, so there's two ways that you can do uh, add your hearts. One of them I think is fun is to pop them up with dimensionals, okay? Another thing to do is to, and I'm, I'm using this one as an example. I think I'm going to pull that off. We're going to change that. is to add some liquid glue, okay? So what if I want my hearts in the middle to be flat because that's where I am going to put my sentiment, okay? So going to just take off the backings and I'm gonna do the, um, Highland Heather, yep, the Highland Heather hearts, okay? And when I look at these, I go, which way do I want it? You could do it either way you want it to, okay? So we're going to put those in flat. We're going to put this one in popped up. Look how fun. It almost reminds me of tic-tac-toe. I don't know. That's silly, but it does. It does remind me of that. So you can see... Uh, let's pop this one in. Some of the designs are the same, so keep that in mind when you are putting yours in. And we're going to pop this one here. So look at that. So can you see? I think you can see it better on my red. 
See how I have them popped up? And then on this one, they are all flush. I've got them all glued in with liquid glue. So two different ways to do it, okay? Let's go ahead and put together our wedding card. And I'm gonna do that with dimensionals. I did not pull a wedding statement, a greeting, because I just pulled out the stamp set. Um, but I believe it says congratulations or something like that. Um, I just think picking out the bride's colors, um, making a, a wedding card for the, the, um, the bride with her colors, I think it's just fabulous. And this is an elegant embossing folder. So remember, if you want to get it before Valentine's, you should be just fine. Um, today is January the 18th. You do need to place the order fairly soon. If that order is $50, don't forget about celebration. You can choose a free goodie from that. Um, I'm going to put this one over here. Uh, I'm not on Facebook. If you are talking about the retreat, you do not have to be on Facebook to attend the retreat. We have it set up to where we have a retreat hub where everything you need is located. And then you just hop over here on YouTube and you'll be good to go. Okay, so look how pretty that is. Look how elegant. Rosemary has attended 13. Mm -hmm. And then she bought the other ones that she didn't attend because the projects are that good. I'm just saying. Okay, so you could make this a Valentine card. So remember all of the ones that we stamped before? That is Cherry Cobbler. So think of our wet, our bride. Oh, she's using Knight of Navy for her colors. It doesn't matter which color you use. That was um, Blackberry Bliss. Yeah, Blackberry Bliss. So I think that, you know, no matter which way you go, uh, let's see. Okay, then we have our black. Black's just not making it. It's just not making the cut. We're going to do, we're going to do one in um, Gorgeous Grape. And let's see. Let's make sure our stamp is clean. It is not. Okay, so have I solved all of, or have I answered all of your questions about this bundle? Because I'm telling you, you're going to want it. You're going to want it. Um, okay. I've seen one lady making six mini shaker windows. So fun. She used the die cut. Oh, and the hearts from the bundle as shakers. How did I not do that? Okay. Robin Miller says, I'm challenging myself to use all the supplies I have already for the creative eight. The designs really work for my stamp sets and DSP. And that is the biggest reason why so many people keep coming back to the retreats because they can use the supplies they have just like mystery stamping the supplies they have to make our projects. We give you three ideas for each of our projects using different colors, different DSP, so that your mind will go, oh, I don't have those, but I have this, okay? So we have to my Valentine, and that is in gorgeous grape. I'm gonna pop this up with some dimensionals. And remember on this one, these are all flat and these are raised. So this is going to work out great. Whoops. Yeah, I know here in Texas on Saturday, it's going to be cold. And so I was like, well, good thing it's the retreat weekend because I don't have to worry about leaving the house. There we go. Look at the differences in colors. I love the gorgeous grape. Love it. Okay, so let's finish up with our, 
I don't know. What do we do with the with the wedding one? Um, where's my stamp set? So our choices are celebrating you just for you. You are most loved with all my heart. I adore you. So none of these really are wedding other than celebrating you. And I feel that that is too big to go on the front of my card. <clears throat> Tien says, I'm such a visual learner that if I have the same stance in DSP, it's easier for me to, to do them. Otherwise, I use whatever I have that's close. And Tien, I understand that too. Um, but don't forget, you know, you could always buy what you want later. You know, after the retreat is over, you're like, well, I really want that card to look like Sharon's or, or Jackie's, whatever. Um, so, you know, you can always go back and or place an order after the retreat. Okay. So at 7 p.m., uh-uh. 8 p.m. Central, I will have um, just a basic download for you over on my blog to help you with remembering this product. Renee says, does Stampin' Up! still have shimmery white or pearlescent white to make a wedding card with? No. <laughs> Notice how quickly I said that. No, we don't have shimmery white anymore. We have this soft shimmer which is the colors that I showed y'all earlier. Oh, I didn't show you all the colors. This is just the soft shimmer and it comes in um, um, Berry Burst. And I think that is, huh, what is that? Hold on. It's not... So it comes in bubble bath. It is bubble bath. Lost Lagoon, Night of Navy, and Pretty Peacock. So this is all we have as far as shimmery goes. And it is very pretty. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it is very pretty. Um, there's the Night of Navy, and there's the Pretty Peacock. So if the bride's colors are these, this would make a gorgeous uh, wedding card. So I think, thank you, Enika. I think I would just leave this just like it is. And I think I would stamp on the inside. And I'm going to pretend that my bride is Highland Heather. That's her colors. And I'm just going to stamp on the inside. You know, if you want to use this stamp set, otherwise, whatever stamp set you have that would say congratulations or happy anniversary, things like that. Um, and then remember, we have extra hearts because we've cut out six of them. And so if we're only, I mean, I'm sorry, we've cut out nine. If we're only using six, we have three extras. We could stick that on the inside of the card which I think would be great. I hope you can see um, all the possibilities, all the possibilities of this bundle. Christine says, stamp one of the hearts on the inside. Oh, I could have. I already got glue on this. We're going to go with this, but yes, you could. You could stamp. Where'd my hearts go? I swear, I'm going to take a picture of what my table looks like. This would be very pretty for a bride. Um, you know, just something soft and little. Um, you could even do uh, the roses, um, but just the little simple heart. Or you could do what I did. Possibilities are mind blown. Do they still have Wink of Stella? Yes, they do. They still have Wink of Stella. So, and it's in the clear. It's in the clear. So you could certainly add Wink of Stella to your layers. Let's bring in our choices of all of our cards that we have shared tonight. Let me put these up here. We got this one. We have this one. And where is our shimmery ones? Y'all, this is a hot mess. Y'all need to come help me clean this up. 
left. <laughs> Where'd the other ones go? Hold on. Um, well, they were here. Love the foiled ones for sure. Absolutely, I do. I think those are so pretty. Um, I'm really puzzled as to where... <laughs> oh, here they are. Ta-da. So look at all the possibilities. You've got your Valentine's. Yes, I went with the Valentine's theme just to keep it simple. Um, but remember, these all had the hearts cut out. These did not. Okay. And so let's show you that rose paper again, the rose foil, and see if you can see the difference on camera. So, I'm gonna put this in between. Huh, look at me. You can see me in the mirror. Um, so you can see the difference. This one is almost a holographic. You see that? But this is that rose gold foil. Wink of Stella is currently unavailable. It'll be back. It'll be back. It may just be um, just out of stock right now, but it'll be back. We have to have Wink of Stella. They took my copper embossing powder or my copper foil. Surely they won't take that. Um, yay. I'm so glad that y'all love these. I'm so glad that you enjoyed the cards. I hope that if you decide to purchase this suite, you will have some ideas to use for them. Sweet bundle that you'll have some ideas to use with it. Um, and just play, play with the colors, play with all the, the card stock, the specialty papers. I'm going to go off and play with a shaker card. Mm -hmm. I love that idea. I love that idea. So I will be back on Monday night with our um, mystery stamping at 7 p.m. Central. So if you, um, Oh, Cindy says she can see herself doing a tic-tac-toe board with her granddaughter. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Um, you're so welcome, Kathy and Delina. Uh, you guys are welcome for the ideas. Uh, the cards are beautiful. See you at the retreat. Yes, see y'all at the retreat tomorrow night uh, and all day Saturday. I will be back on Monday with mystery stamping. And then next Thursday night, I will be live talking about the Stampin' Up! glass mat. And all the things. Oh, oh, I said it. There's that Matt guy again. Have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you guys at the retreat. Bye, y'all.